good morning students today in this lecture we are going to learn about the derivation of condition for maximum discharge through the chimney see condition for maximum discharge through the chimney we know that the height of hot gas column producing the draft <coughs> h dash is equal to h into m by m plus 1 into t2 by t1 minus of 1 meters which we already have derived the equation for height of chimney in the previous classes in the previous classes we have learned about the height of the chimney and we have derived the equation for the height of the chimney when we have derived the equation for the height of the chimney we have got an equation that h dash is equal to h into m by m plus 1 into t2 by t1 minus of 1. This is the equation which we have got when we have derived the equation for height of the chimney. Hence, for deriving the condition, for the derivation of condition for maximum discharge through the chimney, here we are using the height of the chimney equation h dash is equal to h into m by m, m plus 1 into t2 by t1 minus of 1 here. And the velocity of flue grasses through the chimney, we already know that V is equal to root 2GH. As we are substituting here H dash value, root of 2 into G into H dash means nothing but we already know H dash means H into M by M plus 1 into T2 by T1 minus of 1. Hence, we have substituted here H dash value where H is equal to height of the chimney and m is equal to mass of air actually used in kg per kg of fuel and t1 is nothing but of absolute temperature of the air outside the chimney or atmospheric temperature and t2 is equal to absolute temperature of the flue gas inside the chimney see here in the previous classes we have studied about the draft that there is a some pressure difference inside the chimney as well as the outside of the chimney the pressure difference uh, in the flue gases inside the chimney as well as the outside air pressure nothing but of the draft which we have studied here in here the t1 is nothing but of what we are studying here absolute temperature of air outside the chimney and t2 means here we are taking as absolute temperature of flue gas inside the chimney here we are taking the temperatures uh, inside the chimney inside the temperature of the chimney and outside the temperature of the chimney now consider a chimney discharging hot gases to the atmosphere under the action of the natural draft. See in the previous classes I have told you about uh, how what is meant by draft and how the draft has been classified. The first one which we have studied in the classification is about the natural draft. See here the naturally how it is happening means continuously how the air is circulating upon to the furnace for the continuous for the continuous of the fuel burn in the furnace and for converting the feed water into the steam see here let uh, capital a is equal to area of cross section of the chimney in meter square and a row we are taking here as the density of hot gases in kg per meter cube Mass of hot gas as discharge per second means capital M is equal to volume of hot gases into density of hot gases. See here capital M means mass we are calculating here mass is equal to volume into density V into G rho density means M is equal to A into area of cross section into volume of hot gases into density. Hence we are taking here mass as equation 2. And uh, we know the density of the hot gases uh, is inversely proportional to its temperature. That uh, P directly, P inversely proportional to 1 by 2, hence uh, density. Uh, density directly proportional to 1 by T2. Or R, we can write this density is equal to K by T2 as we are taking here the constant term. Where K is a constant of proportionality. Now substituting the volume of V and density in equation 2. Hence, we have got here from the equation 1, we are, we are taking here H1 means height of the chimney and uh, here we, are, we have got uh, the equation of V 
v is equal to root of 2 g h into m by m plus 1 into t2 by t1 minus of 1 and we have got here the density uh, mass value as a into v into density hence we are substituting the density the density is equal to k by t2 square and uh, mass volume may see here we are substituting this density value in equation 2 see here, the equation 2 which we are having here is m is equal to a into v into density v knows the value of v and v knows the value of density hence we are substituting the values of v and density in equation 2 see here after substituting the values of v and density in equation 2 we have got an equation that m is equal to a into root of 2gh into m by m plus 1 into t2 by t1 minus of 1 into k by t square means nothing but of m is equal to a into v into density m is equal to a into this is the value of v into and this is the value of density density means nothing but of k t2 square k by t square see here substituting a into k is equal to k1 another constant we have means uh, in the equation what is the equation we have got here the m equation here we are assuming a into k as k1 we are taking a into k as k1 and we are writing an equation here that a into k1 a into k1 we have written here as a k1 and what is the remaining term which were a into k a into k we have written as k1 k1 by and the remaining term which we are having is t2 k1 by t2 into root of 2gh into m by m plus 1 into t2 by t1 minus of 1 hence we have written here the equation that m is equal to k1 by t2 root of 2gh into m by m plus 1 into t2 by t1 minus of 1 <coughs> again substituting k1 root 2gh is equal to t2 another constant see here we are having the other con first we have taken the constant as k and the other second constant which we have taken here is a k1 and the third constant which we are using here is nothing but of k1 c k2 mean third constant which we are using here as k2 that k1 root of 2 gh we are writing as k2 hence uh, after k1 root 2 gh has been written as k2 and the remaining term is t2 and what is the remaining of the term which we are having in this equation is into root of m by m plus 1 into t2 by t1 minus of 1. Hence, we have got the equation for m is equal to, we are substituting the t1, t2 value inside. We are taking t2 value, substituting the t2 value inside, multiplying the t2 value inside. That root of k2 root of m by m plus 1 into t2 by t1 into t square hence the t2 is coming inside multiplying inside that we need to write these uh, t2 as t2 square why because mean the t2 square and root is going to be cancelled here hence we should write uh, here if we are going to take the t2 value inside the root we need to write this uh, t2 as t2 square and hence the square and t2 is going to be cancelled and the remaining term which we are having here is 1 by t2 square. Hence, we are having the equation that k2 root of m by m plus 1 into 1 by t1 1 by t1 t into t2 minus of t2 square. Hence, here we can observe that k2, here k2, here <coughs> root of, see here root of m by m plus 1, m by m plus 1 here after cancellation here there is no any value hence we are taking here as a 1 1 by 1 by t1 t1 into t2 t1 into t2 and minus of 1 by t2 square minus of 1 by 2 t square hence k2 is equal to <coughs> we are uh, writing the square root uh, in the power that we are we can return these as root as 1 by 2 m by m plus 1 into 1 by t1 into t2 minus of 1 by t2 square whole power 1 by 2 hence uh, we are deriving this equation we are deriving this e equation with respect to t2 means this is the m value dm differentiating 
with respect to t2 dm by d2 is equal to 0 and this equation when we are going to observe this equation this equation is in the form of x power n differentiation of x power n means d by dx of x power n means d by dx of x power n is nothing but of n into x to the power of n minus 1 hence we are uh, writing this equation in the form of n into x to the power of n minus 1 n into x this is this is known as x and this is known as uh, x power n n into x to the power of n minus 1 means 1 by 2 into 1 m by m plus 1 in 1 by t1 into t2 minus 1 by t2 square into hence 1 into 1 1 2 into 2 2 minus by 2 means minus of 1 by 2 hence we have written the equation here that k2 into half into m by m plus 1 into 1 by t1 into t2 minus of 1 by t2 square into minus of 1 by 2 and we are having as we are differentiating here the m value that uh, we are differentiating with respect to hence we need to differentiate these uh, uh, t2 terms also hence we are writing the equation m by m plus 1 into 1 by t1 into 1 by t2 square plus 2 by t2 whole cube is equal to 0 we have from here we have got here the equation that uh, m by m plus 1 into 1 by t1 into t2 minus of 1 by t2 whole square power whole power minus 1 by 2 I have written here the same value and hence for this we are differentiating with respect to 2 that m by m plus 1 into 1 by t1 into as we are differentiating for t2 1 by t2 square plus minus term we have taken common here and we are writing here plus 2 by t2 whole cube is equal to 0 or, or we can write this equation as this equation as k2 into half into see here k2 into half into we are writing the equation minus m by m plus 1 into 1 by t1 into 1 by t2 square plus t3 square by we are having the equation that this equation we are writing here uh, root of by root of m by m plus 1 into 1 by t1 into t2 minus of 1 by t2 square is equal to 0 and uh, hence we are writing the above equation is equal to we are equalizing this to equal to 0 minus m by m plus 1 into 1 by t1 into t2 square plus 2 by t2 whole cube is equal to 0 hence uh, we are trying for this we are taking all these term t1 and t2 terms in, uh, to the right side that uh, the remaining term in the left side is nothing but of 2 by t2 whole cube is equal to we are taking this term right side that m by m plus 1 into 1 by t1 t2 square hence we are going to cancel t2 and t2 and the remaining term here we are having is 2 by t2 2 by t2 and on the right side we are having m by m plus 1 into 1 by t1 and uh, uh, the remaining term which we are having here is m by m plus 1 into t1 is equal to 2 by t2 square therefore t2 is equal to see here t2 is equal to 2 into m plus 1 by m into t1 hence we are taking this as equation 3 see here thus we see that for maximum discharge temperature of the flue gas t2 should be slightly more than the atmospheric temperature means here the t2 value which we have got here the t2 value which we have got here should be should be slightly more than the atmospheric temperature t1 means that the t2 flue gas temperature inside the chimney temperature should be more than that of the atmospheric temperature t1 see we can observe here that uh, the t2 value is two times uh, greater than that of the outside atmospheric temperature see the height of the hot gas column to producing the draft for maximum mass of hot gases to be discharged is obtained by substituting the value of t2 in equation one hence we have got here the equation h dash is equal this is the equation which we have got uh, for the height of the chimney it shows that for maximum discharge the height of hot gas column producing the draft is equal to the height of the chimney hence uh, 
we are telling that the maximum discharge the maximum discharge it shows that for maximum discharge the height of hot gas column hot gas column producing the draft is equal to the height of the chimney means the draft the discharge of the height of gas column is equal to the height of the chimney we know that the draft pressure um, uh, previously we have got an equation of the draft pressure h is equal to 353 h into 1 by t1 minus of uh, m plus 1 by m into t2 mm of water which we have got uh, when we have studied the height of the chimney when we have derived the equation of height of the chimney the draft pressure for maximum discharge we have got is h is equal to 35 h3 1 by t1 minus of m plus 1 into 1 by 2 into m plus 1 by m of means hence we are substituting here the t2 value in this equation and since the t2 value which we have got here here uh, here we have got t2 value hence we are substituting in the height of the chimney equation that t2 value is equal to 2 into m plus 1 by m into t1 hence we have got the equation here 353 h by 2 t1 2 t1 is equal to what is the remaining term which we are having here is 776.5 h by t1 mm of water this is what how we have got the when substituting the value of t2 in e, in the height of the chimney equation we have got uh, the height of uh, this draft is equal to 176.5 h by t t mm of water this is what uh, about the condition for discharge of the condition for maximum discharge through the chimney we have got the equation here and next topic is about the efficiency of chimney efficiency of the chimney it may be defined as the ratio of the energy required to produce the artificial draft expressed in meters head or joule per kg of fuel gas to the mechanical equivalent of extra heat carried away per kg of flue gas due to the natural draft means how we are going to get the efficiency means when we are going to give continuous uh, air upon to the furnace the boiler efficiency or the chimney the hot gases which are passing away through the chimney the efficiency is going to be improved see here let uh, height we are going to calculate the efficiency of the chimney that let h is h dash is equal to height of the flue gas chimney or the artificial draft produced in meters t2 is equal to temperature of flue gases in the chimney with natural draft t1 is equal to temperature of flue gas in chimney with artificial draft cp is equal to specific heat of flue gases here and we know that energy required to produce artificial draft for kg of flue gases we are taking here as h dash into g and extra heat required per kg of fuel due to natural draft we are taking here as 1 into cp into t2 minus t kJ per kg hence the mechanical equivalent of extra heat carried away is equal to 1000 cp into t2 minus t1 j per kg of flue gas and the efficiency of the chimney efficiency of the chimney is equal to h dash into g c the artificial draft as well as the natural draft artificial draft is nothing but of h dash by g by the ratio of and uh, the natural draft which we are taking here is nothing but 1 into cp into t2 minus 1000 into cp into t2 minus t1 this is the what uh, for calculating the efficiency of the chimney the ratio of uh, artificial draft by natural draft uh, we are taking here in the above expression the value of h dash uh, h dash may be substituted as uh, what we know from the height of the chimney h dash is equal to h into m by m plus 1 into t2 by t1 minus of hence we we can use this equation instead in the place of h dash and we can get the efficiency of the chimney the efficiency of the chimney is less than 1 percentage the when we are going to calculate or when we are comparing uh, the efficiency of the chin, chimney is less than that of uh, 1 percentage this is what uh, about uh, what we have studied see here the efficiency of the chimney means nothing but the ratio of uh, artificial draft to the equivalent draft or mechanical draft which has been produced means nothing but of the difference of the artificial draft as well as the natural draft so here it may be defined as the ratio of the energy required to produce the artificial draft what is the energy which is required to produce here the artificial draft 
and to the mechanical equivalent of extra heat required away for kg of flue gases due to the natural draft it means nothing but the ratio of artificial draft to the natural draft is nothing but of the efficiency of the chimney here we are taking here the artificial draft as a h dash by g and the natural draft which we are taking here is 1 into cp t2 minus means equivalent mechanical equivalent of extra heat carried away is taken here as 1000 cp into t2 minus t1 hence we are the ratio of these artificial draft to the mechanical equivalent of extra heat carried away is nothing but of the mechan the efficiency of the chimney how we are going to calculate the me mechanical efficiency of the chimney this is what uh, how we have studied about uh, the derivations for the condition for maximum discharge through the chimney as well as uh, the efficiency of the chimney um, if you are having any doubts regarding these derivations you can contact me or call to me thank you